Hi students, today we will continue to discuss on the chapter Excel or we can say it spreadsheet. The first point we will discuss is how to enter text in the cells of our spreadsheet. How to change its font its font size, its font color, and lastly, how to save our document. We will enter these details in our Excel sheet. Name, age, address. Therefore, how will we enter those details in our Excel sheet? sheet. When you open your Excel sheet, it will be like this. In column wise, column A, column B, column C, and row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4. But how will our data be represented? It will be like this. The column A First cell, we will type name. Then, in cell A2, we will type Amira. Then, A3, we will type Christian. Like this, we will move to other cells in order to type these words. But how will we move to other cells? We will move to other cells by using arrow keys. To move to the right, I will press right arrow key. To move down, I will press down arrow key. To move to the left, I will press left arrow key. And to move up, I will press arrow key for up. Now let's work the exercise together. I have opened my Excel sheet and I will type it in parallel. One minute. Here is my Excel sheet. Here is my PowerPoint. I will type name. Then next cell I will press the right arrow key. H right arrow key again and address. Now I need to move downwards. I will press down and move to the left. Okay, now we have finished entering the details. Now we will continue. How to change the font of a text? The text will be found in a cell. Therefore, you click on the cell, then you click on the arrow beside 
font and you choose the font you want to apply. Let's do an example. I want to change the font of Rita. I will click in the cell. I will click on the arrow here. And I will choose a font. Now for font size. Same. I will click in the cell of the respective word. I will click on the arrow beside font size. And then if the font size if is available I will click on it else I must type the value of the font size and then press enter let's go through an example for address I want to change its font size to 28 it is available therefore I click on it when you change the font size you see that the word goes into other cells therefore you bring your mouse here and you double click now let change the font size of Amira. I will click in the cell. If I tell you to change its font size to 15 and 15 is not available, therefore you click here, you erase the value, you type 15 and you press enter key. Therefore, the size of the word Amira is 15. Now, for font color, you click in the cell of the word, you click on the arrow beside it which represents font color and then you click on the color you want to apply to the word. Let's go through an example. I want to change the font color of 7 to yellow. I will click in the cell I click here and choose yellow. Here it is yellow. Now let's work some questions together. First question change the font of name to Arial Black. It's font to Arial Black. I move downwards and search for Arial Black and click on it. Change the font size of age to 24. Age font size 24. Font color of address to red. Address to red. Change the font of Christian to monetize Corsiva. 
Christian font size font monetize cosiva monetize starts with M. Therefore, I can type alphabet M and then search for monetize cosiva. Here it is. Next question. Change the font size of Qpip to 30. Qpip to 30. It is not available. I will erase 11 and type 30 and then press enter. Change the font color of Reduit to green. Reduit. I will click in the cell and choose green. I choose another green here. Okay. Now, last part, how to save our work. I will click on File, then click on Save As. Where will I save it? I will save on Desktop for me. I click on Desktop. Then I will give the work a name, that is its file name. Then I will press on save button. Let's save it. I will save it as grade 3 pupils. File. Save as. Where will I save it? On desktop. Its name will be grade pupils and then I will press on save button now let's see if the work has been saved here it is grade 3 pupils therefore the work has been saved I hope you have understood how to type words or text in your Excel sheet and how to change its font, font size and font color. And lastly, you must save your work, else next time you want to continue to use this work, you won't obtain it. I hope you have understood the lesson of today. Thanks for your attention.